Hello everyone, Susie Gaming here and welcome to Diplomacy is not an option. It's an RTS created by Door 407 and it features era of fantasy and medieval. It's unlike most of the real-time strategy games, this game features a huge amount of unit population because it's a low poly modeled game. You can spawn above 500 units and I'm gonna test this game all the way up to its limits. This game is released 9th of February. It's now in early access stage. Let's discover this game together. Oh lord, look at the map. I really like the illustration. Wow, so you tell me we're gonna conquer all of this. So I assume this is where we start. And when we finish the level, we're gonna switch to the next town. And that's how it goes. Mm-hmm. Good. Yes. My lord. Oh, sh that's fast. Silk, my lord. With golden frills. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> that's a weird cutscene. One. Two. <laughs> 48 Oh Fell into the moat and This is about your daughter, my lord. <laughs> Immediately gives the money. <laughs> We're out of money. Even more of them in the evening. Enter. My lord. The tax collector has just arrived. And where's the money? Where's my money? The tax collector didn't bring it. He barely got here in one piece. Peasants revolt. And refuse to pay. A crowd of rebels marching towards the castle. All right. Damn, that was a long cutscene. Unnecessary. My lord, for the first time in history, your castle will be stormed. And if I were to tell anyone what it was like, I would advise you to make some steps. Interface looks like other RTS games, so I think I'll get used to it. Population. So first things first, we need food. I think this our army archers, swordmen. Nice, everything is low poly. Let's go. Ooh, and you can even change the camera angle like this. Alright. Guys, I'm gonna spawn the biggest army there is. Okay, and you can speed up time. Perfection. All RTS games should have this option. As resources, we have food, wood, stone, iron, gold, soul crystal. So obviously we need to gather some resources first. Look at that low poly deer. Come here barbarians. Repulse all enemy attacks. Kill all rebels in the valley. I like how archers are missing. So it's not on easy mode. They don't have homing arrows. Oh, 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 there's a big army here. Oh my god, that's a big army. Whoa, 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 run. This is going to be a close one, boys. A really close one. 
In fact, I think we're losing. One swordsman left, and he's gone. Oh boy. Apparently, I don't need workers. I just need to build something and workers will pop out from it. Let's first of all clear this area out, out from the trees. Okay, so I just left click that and automatically some workers are going to build it there. Bury the dead to avoid epidemics. So let's quickly check out the building options. Here we have some population buildings, city fountain, house tree. Apparently they have more capacity, but they're obviously expensive to build. City fountain, what does it do? Two people live in each house within radius. Mm -hmm. Tavern. Let's check out the food. Berry the picker's house. Starving, so let's quickly drop it here. Pick these berries. Fisherman's. Let's drop three of those. Oh, that's a big wave. That's a big wave. Oh, I didn't build the military yet. Anyway, like five archers did the job. Nicely done. Okay, let me check the military stuff. Uh, barracks three. You can see some units there. Swordsman, archer, spearman, healer, crossbowman, hammer guy, horseman. Engineer guild, catapult, ballista, trebuchet. So pretty classic. And we have some magical stuff here as well. Obelisk is being built. I believe what it does, it gives us an option to do a magical attack. Astral Ray, Mass Healing, Meteor. There we go, I can build the barracks now. Let's just drop it here. Let me drop some defenses. I love dropping watchtowers everywhere in every strategy game. So far, I'm enjoying this, guys. I used to play Age of Mythology. So if you played any of those classic RTS games, you don't even need tutorial. If we need to build some storage stuff as well. Okay. Sure. Let's go. Oh, that's a big army. Oh, I'm not gonna make it in time. Okay, swordsman. Go, 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 go. A lot of them. Not enough resource. Oh, not enough population. Okay. Uh, let's quickly... Population. Let's drop a lot of houses. Alright. Here's the fight. Oh boy, we're getting wrecked. Enemies are uh, being distracted by buildings, so my archers just can finish them off from far distance. Usually what happens in other RTSs, enemies won't stop until all units are dead, then they're attacking the buildings. This eases the job a bit. Alright, everyone here is dead. That's a zombie, walking corpse. Well, apparently when you click here, there's a research tree. How cool is that? Alright, so here's how the research tree works. You build something, then branches pop out from that building. The research will begin when this window is closed. Alrighty then. Comfortable shoes. That sounds like something useful. Resource production. Stone mine. We want to build it right here. Let's drop one here as well. And let's turn the camera. Two more. Not enough resources. And population as well. Alright. By the way, our lumberjacks. Here they are. Chopping some trees. Builder's house, I guess this one increases the construction speed of every building. Okay, builder's house, there it is. One. 
Not enough population. Oh, oh. Okay. More houses then. Not enough food this time. Yeah, we have uh, famine. I <laughs> As you can see, I have zero clue what the hell is going on. We have a problem, boys. We have a problem. Build a hospital to avoid a pandemic. But where the heck is hospital? I cannot find it. Grave diggers house. We even need to build house for grave diggers. Unbelievable. And hospital is right here. I need 32 wood. Can I believe this is the final wave, by the way? I better start summon a really big army. Okay, what's my population gap? 66 slots. Not good. Uh, let's build more houses then. Oh my god. Look at this army. It's like in 300 Spartan movies. Okay, we're gonna block them here, boys. Alright. We got him. They're kind of surrounding us, but... Our soldiers are quite durable. So I think we can repel them. No problem at all. Oh, there is more... More here. Okay, I think now we have a problem. Our little perch team. Clearing the area. Get them, boys. Nice. And that was it. Nicely done. Cemeteries can get full as well. Checks out. Here's the body. Bam. One tombstone. Add it. Okay, yeah, it has capacity of 100 and apparently we can upgrade it as well. Mm -hmm. That's an um, interesting mechanic. Not gonna lie. Like in all of the strategy games I played, the body just stays there forever. Or just disappears. And here you have to bury it. So I want to upgrade the main castle already. Okay, this is the final assault. They are attacking again. Oh, they're attacking from oh, oh my god, not Oh no. Oh no. The <laughs> I was so relaxed. All enemies located in this map are attacking, attack. not just this two. This is not good. Yeah, we're going down, boys. It took me a while to realize, but yeah, now I know it. Can we survive this wave? What do you think, guys? Oh, no, we're definitely not. Like, look how many. There's like 10 times more enemies. But yeah, this is like satisfying to look at. It's like those cheap gaming ads shown on YouTube. Only thing is, it's real this time. Look at this. A huge army and no FPS drop at all. Yep. Main castle is crumbling and it's down. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I got wrecked. Insane. This time I'm going challenge accepted. Alright, time to get serious. It finally worked. So Astral Ray is the most obvious one, apparently.
And yeah, that's it. Attack propelled. Victory. I did it. Enemies killed 1300. That is a lot of enemies. So about 1000 units. Congratulations, my lord. The uprising is crushed. Survived peasants. Agreed to pay taxes. Let us turn to current issues. Quartermasters, my lord. Overdid the celebration. One time burnt down. Also, a pigeon arrived with a message from your uncle. Peasant revolts. Seem to happen not just here. But literally everywhere, my lord. Your uncle begs you. So check this out. In this giant tower I can place 25 archers. Look at them. Wow. Game becomes eventually repetitive. Like, research tree right now is not that impressive. But let's do not forget this is an early access game. That means developer can increase this research tree tremendously. I have huge expectations from this game. Like, especially when you mod it, maybe someone will make Age of Mythology mod for this game. And hell yeah, it will be really epic because gameplay wise, it is quite similar. One unique thing, it's this graveyard option. Which kind of reminds how military life is so cheap. Oh, like, yeah. this dude dies, bam, you become in a tombstone. So there's some sort of a life lesson as well here. Yeah. Oh, 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 they're attacking from this side. Uh, let's arrange our catapults. I need to spawn more soldiers. Look how many bodies. Archer's doing a really good job, by the way, when they're inside this giant tower. Wow. They're pretty much holding the convoy here. Yeah, it's almost over. We have a catapult, enemy catapult there. Nice. This tower is OP. Yeah. Devastating. Yeah. Down. Perfection. So if that body stays for too long, it will slow down any friendly unit that is passing next to it. That's why grave digger building is quite important. By the way, our cemetery is almost full. So I better build the second one. I just cannot believe what's gonna happen at the final chapter. Like thousand versus thousand or something. That will be insane. Oh my god, what is this? Oh god. Literally from everywhere. Oh my god. They are attacking our buildings. No way I'm surviving this. No freaking way. Our troops are under attack. They are attacking our citizens. Wow. The city is under attack. <laughs> what is this? Our fortifications are under attack. Ho 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 What the hell? This is exactly like in cheap game ads. Where freaking thousands of enemies surrounded one building. Wow, they destroyed everything. I mean, what can happen at this point? Nothing. Nothing. It's gone. I mean, what do you want me to do here? Wow. But yeah, guys, that was the diplomacy. It's not an option. Brand new RTS. I really enjoyed. Really like the art style. And the low poly units. When crowded together, looks kind of epic as well. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.